started as an artist when I was just a toddler, I think. But then I got a little older, I started branching out and um, had an art class to learn how to use oil paints and things like that. So it was something that I thought I would major in in college and I love children and so I thought perhaps I would do art education. But at the end of high school, after being in Europe a year, I came home and was planning on pursuing my college and I met the man that I was to marry and all the college plans went out the window so I didn't have much art training. That's the truth of it. The first mural that I did was through Christine Moore. She was then a Orange County uh, school board member and she knew my husband through some organizations they were both a part of and she knew I did murals so she asked me to put a bid in for a mural for Zellwood School and so that was the first time I actually worked with her and then she became a county commissioner and the story of this mural was Lockhart has been forgotten for so long and she thought you know I want to do something for Lockhart I need something to kickstart this change and again she thought of the history something that would bring the people together that they would have a common sense of place a common sense of history I had done a small amount of research into the history of Lockhart when the elementary school opened and I had met the Isaacson family and was really inspired by their family story. I mean, they were one of the original five pioneer families who settled here in the late 1800s. So uh, when we were looking for a tool to start revitalizing and rebuilding and developing a downtown, uh, we knew history projects certainly could be a vehicle to pull everyone together. And so she thought, but gosh, there's no walls or you know really buildings put in the right place to do such a thing and she came across this wall and she thought wow there's a wall when i was walking with my friend we had decided just to walk down this railroad track and we got talking about how we could do could begin revitalizing and we said all we need is a wall and the funny thing was that we had walked by this wall, driven by this wall, seen this wall a million times, but it was so graffitied up, it had holes in it, it needed stucco, it needed a lot of TLC, and because it was such a mess, we didn't really see its potential until the idea of the project came about. And so it's a wall that would be seen by so many every day. And so anyway, she, there was born the idea, and that was just the visible part. The part that was in the background was her working with the infrastructure people of the county. Well, that's one of the beauties of being the elected Orange County Commissioner, and so certainly uh, I have access to the engineers and the public works folks, and there was a tremendous amount of infrastructure projects done and we still have more to go. It wasn't just though the county, it was citizens. There were uh, men that came out here and trimmed the trees, mowed the grass, um, the Isaacsons donated the bend. And then she even got in touch with the historical writer for the Orlando Sentinel. She got in touch with a historian in the area and so, you know, we had a team. Then I met with the people of Lockhart, and you know, the idea was presented. Uh, she first, with the county's help, designed a seal for the city to give it an identity, and she worked with the, you know, the Lockhart community with that. And then we started on the mural, and just the information started coming in. Through research, not so much books, but, uh, oral histories, internet, magazines, newspapers, uh, pictures. Um, that's pretty much, you know, how it came together. So there was a solid month of research of just talking to people, you know, on the internet constantly. Uh, things that weren't particularly about Lockhart, but about the railroad systems or about the lumbering business, things, you know, that touch Lockhart. So 
uh, it was just a lot of research. And so with this format, it seemed best just to do, you know, four panels because we were basically covering four 50-year periods. So that's how it came about, and just to go left to right. But the bulk of the information came from the people of Lockhart. That was the most fun part. And we would ask questions. We would say, what's important to include in the mural? What were the pivotal things in history that changed the direction of the town? The people of Lockhart were the ones who gave the direction. They gave the heart. And my research backed up their ideas and their desires for the mural. Something I'd like to say just about the people of Lockhart, because I've gotten to know communities and there are always distinctives about every community and why they developed the way they did. And some of the takeaways from this work in Lockhart was simply the people of Lockhart. But one particular story touched me so deeply, and it still does. Um, one day I was out here by myself and it was, it was one of those hot days that you just, it's, uh, it's just self-discipline that keeps you in front of this wall that's reflecting all the heat. And a man came by in a car, he was the passenger in the car, and he was effusive about how happy he was about this mural and, and you know, that he particularly loved this fourth mural this fourth panel in the mural where the family was holding hands and he said it struck me so deeply that that's what it's all about somehow in my life I had forgotten that and he said I just love it he said I want you to know you've touched my heart today and honestly I thought he was so effusive I thought you know Maybe I need to be careful of this guy because, you know, I, I'm not quite sure. Um, you know, I'm just not quite sure about him. So then he, they drove on. A little while later, he came back to me by himself. And I looked at him and I thought, no, this is going to be okay. He walked up to me and with both hands handed me a big drink. It was tied up in a plastic bag. He said, I want you to know that it's all clean. It's inside this bag. I wanted you to have a nice cool drink because it's so hot. And I took his hands in mine and they were so rough. I had never touched hands so rough. And I looked at the etchings on his face and I thought life has been hard for this man. His hands were like touching the street. It was just so rough and his face was etched and he said this has meant so much to me today I just wanted to say thank you and to give you something to encourage you and to refresh you and then he left and so those are the people of Lockhart correct these this is the nature of the people of Lockhart when they knew I was finishing up, people came all day long. They brought me food, they brought me drinks, they brought me gifts. They were just saying, we've just so enjoyed this project. We've, we love what this is doing for Lockhart. They said, we've cleaned up our neighborhood because of this. We're cleaning up our streets because of this. This is making us proud of our city. And so they were, an, they were ready, they were ripe for a project, they were ripe for someone to pay attention to Lockhart and to encourage them. And so they came continually all day long that last day to bring me things. And I have to say I miss them.